Hi, in this video, I would like to share some tips on finding industry and market information. So what is an industry and a market and what's the difference? Industry refers to the companies that offer similar products and services, while market refers to customers or consumers. The two terms are closely related and often used interchangeably. But generally, industry research examines industry revenue, growth forecast, competition, and environmental factors such as the economy and government regulations, while market research focuses on market size, brand shares, marketing strategies, and consumer information. Industries are often classified according to different sources. In the U.S., the most notable system is the North American Industry Classification System, or NAICS, used by the U.S. government. Before NAICS, there was the older system, SIG, Standard Industry Classification. These two systems are still widely used in research databases and websites. For example, once you identify the appropriate NAICS or SIG code, you can generate a list of companies in that industry, locate government collected industry data, and find industry benchmarks. While classification systems are useful, sometimes they can be too broad if you're researching an emerging or niche industry. Furthermore, since many databases have their own classification systems and associated terminology, you will need to figure out what the industry is called in a particular database. For that, I suggest starting with a general, commonly used keyword, then look up a few good matches for keywords associated with this type of business. Another approach is just to search by the main player and see what kind of industries are associated with it. Industry profiles and market research reports are great starting points to learn about an industry. These reports are usually written by experts who gathered and analyzed information from multiple sources and presented the data and analysis in a structured and readable way. I want to bring your attention to two things concerning industry profiles and market research reports. One is that each database has its own way of presenting information. Two reports can be on the same industry, but each has its own focus, scope, time period covered, sources used to create a report, and numbers such as market size and market shares. It's completely normal to find slightly or sometimes very different numbers on seemingly the same industry from different sources. In that case, you will need to check their methodology, scope, or definition. You can contact the companies that created the reports to find a possible explanation. You may need to consult other sources to see if there is a general consensus, and sometimes you may have to estimate a range based on these different numbers. The other thing I want to point out is that the prepackaged industry profiles and market research reports often have a broad scope. For example, focusing on a national market and a general industry segment rather than um, your specific market in a particular geographic area. It is important to search for articles in library databases or Google, as well as checking out local business publications and newspapers, but especially important when you don't get a report on your specific topic. Industry analysis is valuable information and the price tag shows it. While one can Google and find various industry profiles and market research reports that seem to have all the information you need, you will notice that most of them are very expensive if you want to read the entire report. The best you can get without paying will be the summary, the table of contents, and maybe the methodology. The PSU library subscribes to a few databases that have these reports on particular industries. Since the library has already paid for it, faculty, staff, and students get to view the full content without additional cost. Due to budget constraints and the vast number of expensive reports out there, libraries are not able to purchase individual reports for users. If you find a report via Google, feel free to contact the reference desk to see if we have access. Most likely we don't, but it doesn't hurt to ask, especially if you are new to the library and may not be familiar with the full range of resources we offer. When you can't find a specific piece of information or the report is not available from the library, here are some other strategies you can use. First, you can reach out to organizations or people that are likely in the know, such as government agencies, industry associations, industry experts, um, or journalists and academics that have written extensively on the industry. Even if they cannot provide the exact answers to your questions, they may offer possible leads, refer you to someone else, 
or confirm that um, the kind of information you're looking for is just not available. Industry associations are a valuable source of information. Most associations have their own websites, which may provide some free industry-specific data or reports. However, since an industry association's core mission is to promote and advocate for the industry and its member companies, you may need to be aware of their point of view and how that may influence the data. Secondly, when you don't find sufficient information on your specific industry, you may want to broaden your search to the larger or related industries. You will also have to infer based on existing information and come up with your own estimates or conclusions. Last but not least, if possible, primary research such as interviewing main players in the industry and conducting consumer surveys should also be combined with secondary research. For example, if you're thinking about opening a pet product store in your neighborhood, you will learn a lot about the national trends and consumer preferences in articles and reports from the library databases and industry association websites. You can even generate a list of pet-related establishments in your area. However, to truly understand your competition and identify your unique competitive advantage, you may have to actually check out your competitors' websites, their reviews, visit them in person, and talk to potential local customers to find out about unfulfilled market needs. I hope this video helps you get started with doing industry research. Here is a brief recap of what we have discussed. For more information and links to recommended resources, please consult the Industry and Market Research Guide listed under this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask us. Thanks for watching.